Now, I also know, folks, it's an interesting topic to talk about with Nick. There's some areas in your life, in your career, you want to get into, though, right? Well, yeah, I, I, um, I love, uh, we're doing a lot of uh, production work right now. Uh, we're trying to get a to a lot of uh, theatrical productions, uh, uh, book production. Uh, i got some uh, projects that we're working on that uh, tell a story of what's been happening to America in the last couple of years, uh, especially about the mortgage industry, uh, the collapse, the, the fraud, and, you know, uh, the, the shady politics that goes on in America, and uh, we got some projects we're going to shine some light on that, and, uh, and I have some historical projects I've always envisioned about taking care of and shine light, shedding light on. Um, one project we're working on is a story of John Armistead. He was a spy for the uh, American Revolutionary War. He was the first spy ever commissioned and given commission by the Army, and he was a black man. And uh, we want to show people that uh, you know everyone uh, makes some sacrifices. This guy gave up his freedom to uh, go fight for the uh, Revolutionary War and become a slave, and he was free, and was able to get uh, information, remember battlefield positions, and was able to help. Uh, you know, Lafayette became the, the hero he became. And Nick, June 18th, 2011, the day that a lot of music fans remember, that really impacted what happens in the music industry. And I know that day personally was felt by you. We're coming up on the one year anniversary of your father's death. What can you tell us has transpired in your life in this last year? Well, uh, I, I think I've really taken life uh, you know, more seriously. Um, I've reached out to a lot of uh, people in my life that, that uh, knew my father, that maybe were left behind, where they didn't get a chance to say those respects and uh, made sure they had a piece of him. Um, I've made sure that I've you know, reached out and you know, fulfilled some of his wishes as far as my development, you know, as far as my growth. Um, it's definitely helped me get involved in a lot of charity work right now, and uh, uh, one of the charity events that we're doing, uh, we're working with the Lenny Bruce Foundation, is one uh, event we're doing uh, August 25th. We have a variety of comedians come out, uh, Paul Mooney, uh, Margaret Cho, uh, Mike Marino, we're gonna come out to do a a set at the Paramount and Asbury Park, and we're also going to have a music event, the Wonder Bar next door, and uh, it's going to be a great event for a great cause. They uh, help women who are in uh, abusing drugs and lost their way. Uh, Lenny's house is the uh, the facility that uh, Kitty Bruce runs, and that's Lenny's daughter. And uh, just hearing her story, and uh, I kind of emphasize with you know a lot of things I've seen in my lifetime, and. Uh, you know, two women need a second chance in life, you know, and uh, that's what this uh, charity's event's for, is about raising money and helping women take care and giving them that second chance.